Hello, Silver Dome judges. This is the WSIL entry for Station of the Year. We've covered a lot. Severe weather, lots of local community service, and maybe one or two political stories. We've actually lost count. So we've only got five minutes to show you 365 days of news coverage. For WSIL, that's only 1,300 hours of local newscasts to go through. That's a huge challenge. So we decided if it's good enough for the president, we'll use Twitter to give you a taste of what we did. Rising backwater is still a big problem in Olive Branch for local property owners. Now, when I was here on Saturday, the water was about 10 feet higher than it is right now. It will still need to continue to drop in order for major roads like Route 3 to reopen to the public. This is a perfect example of what Mother Nature can do in just seconds. Earlier Tuesday, a tornado ripped through this Mayfield neighborhood, leaving the community to pick up the pieces. This is a good example of the kind of damage left behind after this tornado passed through the outskirts of Benton, Kentucky. Wild weather didn't just impact our region. Weather warrior Tony Lovock spent another week chasing in the Great Plains. I've logged over 15,000 miles since early March. And while I've already seen a few tornadoes, there we go. It literally has been a hail of a start. When severe weather threatens, stay ahead of the storms with the WSIL Weather app. When winter weather threatens, you need the News 3 weather team. Five meteorologists providing the latest weather information. The News 3 weather team, putting accuracy first. WSIL is a locally owned station, and that's unusual in this day and age of giant media companies. And we make a major commitment to serve our local community. The Blitz is on to Sack Hunger in Southern Illinois. News 3 is teaming with these local businesses to stock area food pantries. Each Friday night, we'll be collecting food items at the Sack Hunger Game of the Week. Kelly, hopefully you've got a lot of donations coming in. We just decided to clear off the table because they were coming in faster than we could clear off the table. We have three trucks here. We already have one completely loaded. Our team showed up at the Mount Vernon Kroger, helping folks with new and old radios get prepared for the severe weather season. What kind of things can they ask navigators when they call in tonight? Uh, they can ask navigators, you know, questions about their current health insurance. They can ask us what it will take for them to get health insurance. It was a packed house here at the Mount Vernon Holiday Inn for WSAL's annual job search party with Bren Lake College. At News 3, we appreciate our men and women in the armed services, including our own reporter, Brandon Morano, a member of the Illinois Air National Guard. Kevin, the other guy you saw, we're, we're both the boom operators. Brandon is a full-time reporter with News 3, but he's a boom operator too. Through a small window, we see a B-1 bomber. It looks like it's floating in midair, but we're flying 300 miles an hour. Brandon has to carefully guide the boom into a fuel hole located at the nose of the B-1. In 2016, we provided exclusive reports on the U.S. military in training. Several hundred recruits become Marines after one of the toughest tests of physical endurance you can imagine. All right, Marines. This was about as emotional as it gets, uh, hearing these guys sing the Marine hymn, watching their faces. Some of them were practically crying as they went through this. You have earned this, and so hold your heads high. The purpose of this exercise is to breach an area on foot, then move through and secure a building. Everybody that took this job, you know, we all know the rest. Everyday volunteers stand by to perform military rites at the funerals of veterans in Southern Illinois. WSIL-TV, Black Diamond, Harley-Davidson, and Crane Funeral Home are partnering to support these dedicated volunteers. We'll be raising money for Operation Honor Guard on Tuesday, October 11th at Black Diamond. Like many other stations, we added local newscasts. We expanded our 6 p.m. to a full hour. News 3 is breaking new ground. We'll bring you more local news and weather weekday evenings at 6.30. Only on News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader. We've done so much more for our local community. Much more than will fit in five minutes. But we hope this gives you a sample of our dedication as a local broadcaster. And we thank you for your time. We are WSIL News 3. The number one choice for local news in Southern Illinois.